I had the best time working on this house. For me, it was the perfect marriage of country living with urban sophistication, and I'm so pleased with the way that it turned out. When I first met with the client and we started to talk about the palette, we knew because we were in the country that a lot of the outdoors was going to affect what we did in the indoors. So we really wanted to keep it neutral and calm and clean, but then we have these great bursts of green from outside and then green from inside. So it's a very soothing, very relaxing, very warm, cozy place to be. When you're trying to create a look like this, I think the best place to start is starting to layer in your texture because you're gonna be using a lot of that. We have hand scraped pine flooring, we have beautiful slate stone floor, we have rock, we have timber, we have everything you can imagine and then we've layered in a nice soft linen on top of everything. The client that is lucky enough to live here has a large extended family, so we really wanted to have open concept so everyone can be together, but we needed to delineate the space. That's sometimes tricky, but what we did is used furniture to give us where our walls would be. So you have the great sight lines, but you really have a great room, a dining room. We have a nice little sitting area and the kitchen. It's all separate, but it's all open. Another great way to delineate space is what we did in the dining room. So even though it's open to the rest of the house, we actually painted the walls dark. It actually is a great nod as a thread because we painted all of the trim and the doors in the house the same color. The dining room could have gone very traditional, but we really were trying to keep that clean line. So the way that we did that is it's not too fussy. It's basically chandelier, chairs, table, this great hutch that we built in, which gives that nod to that found object. And then it really lets the windows shine, which with all of the mullions and all of the grills, it feels a bit more modern and painted dark always is gonna make it feel a bit more contemporary. My favorite thing about the great room is how we played with scale. It's a huge room, and again, that can be tricky to make it feel cozy. But what we did is we went oversized where we could. So the coffee table is actually humongous, but it feels just the right size for the space. The chandelier is that wow factor that you always need in the room. It's breathtaking. And then using oversized couches and an oversized area rug that was custom, everything feels like it fits. It doesn't feel like it's dwarfed, but then it still feels like it's a really cozy place to be and hang out. I love designing kitchens, and this one is one of my all-time favorites. It has all of the right notes to be in a country home, but if you take a good look at it, it's very streamlined. It's very simple, which actually just makes it shine all the more. We spent a lot of time on the details in this kitchen. We picked the most beautiful grige for the cabinetry, which really lends a nice soft feeling to it. We did the subway tile all the way to the ceiling, which is, in my books, always the way to go. We used great barn lighting and then have the double islands, one for cooking, one for eating. It's actually the perfect space. I want it. I've asked them for it. They said no. <laughs> In my dream house, the most luxurious thing would be to have a servery, and this servery takes the cake. It is actually a second kitchen. They have tons of storage. They can prep in there if they're having a dinner party. Everything gets closed off and you don't see the mess. I love it. One of my favorite moments in this house is when you first come in the door and then you look down this hallway to the back of the house. It's breathtaking. And what we did there is we really created a moment. We have oversized pendants, we have the pine beams and the stone floor, and it's just breathtaking. I love it. The hardest thing about working on this project was really getting my head around how to have country living that isn't like completely cottage or, you know, that vacation home, something that's a forever home for a family. But I have to say, finding that right combination was one of the sweetest moments in my design career.